When I was five years old or six years old, I was in our village. I was next to my grandmother. When I first saw an airplane, I immediately told her, I want to be the driver of that plane. I have always been amused with the feeling of being able to do any kind of maneuver in the sky with wings. The most that I could make it so far was 51,000 feet. I'm really wondering how I'm going to feel like when I look at the blue earth with my bare eyes. It is going to be an amazing feeling being able to fly in a space without any wings. Space has never been a part of my dreams, ever. Because as a country, we were completely out of this field. So when it comes to space, when I saw it in the documentaries or the movies, I would always immediately encourage myself, hey, that dream belongs to other nations. 10. ve son hedefimiz. Evet, bir Türk vatandaşını uzaya göndermektir. In the middle of the night, I'm coming back from an operational flight and I see the news. It is our president announcing their monumental decision to send the very first Turkish person into the space on our centennial history. For a country like Turkey, it's important. That is just opening a curtain which has always been blocking the dreams of our children. And from that moment on, I started to think about it seriously. It was a really long, rigorous process that we went through. At the end, we were selected to the program. It felt great. It felt amazing. Alper is polite. He's uh, also extremely competent professionally, very thorough. He's very humble, but he's very precise, uh, very, very unique person. Even though we come from very different cultures, our backgrounds are similar, so our common language was easy to find. My name is not important. The important thing for the people is to remember that their country has been determined enough to be able to step into the future, to be able to dream not to the limits of the sky, but deep into space. <laughs>